Hello, sports fans, and welcome to another edition of Scott Sp of the of Scott Sports 101 Monday Night Football Post Game Show. I'm Scott Trella. Well, the Baltimore Ravens uh, beat the New Orleans Saints 27 to 13. They go to six and three tonight at Carson's uh, Caesar Superdome in New Orleans, uh, Louisiana. For the Ravens, it's their third straight win. Uh, Lamar Jackson has passed Steve Young to number five for the uh, most uh, career rushing yards uh, by a quarterback in NFL history. He, uh, and uh, Justin Houston racked up 2.5 sacks, three quarterback hits, two uh, tackles for a loss, uh, one interception, a uh, tipped pass that led to another interception, and three tackles on the evening. His uh, sack total made him the first player in Baltimore Ravens history to pass for uh, three straight multi-sack games. Uh, now I'm going to recap this one for you right now. Uh, uh, first quarter, the Saints had the punt after going uh, uh, three and out, four plays, 19 yards, and the Ravens had the punt after four play, going three and out, four plays, six yards, and then... <coughs> <laughs> the uh, Saints had the one three and out had the point again after three plays and sixteen yards. Uh, then the Ravens scored their first touchdown of the game. Uh, Lamar Jackson's pass deep right to uh, Isaiah Likely for the twenty-four yard touchdown. Justin Tucker's uh, well, Tucker's extra point was good, and it was seven nothing Ravens. Then the Saints had the point. They're going three and out, three plays uh, minus six yards. It was 7-0 Ravens at the end of the first quarter. Then in the second quarter, Ravens had the punt after going 3-and-out, uh, 6 plays, 12 yards. Saints had the punt uh, after going 3-and-out, uh, 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 3 plays and 8 yards. Then the uh, Ravens scored their second touchdown of the game. And it was uh, uh, Kenyon Drake, right, uh, right guard for the 1-yard touchdown. Tucker's extra point was good, and it was... 14-0 uh, Ravens. Uh, the Saints got to uh, uh, the 4th uh, and 10 at the Baltimore 15. Lutz's 33-yard field goal attempt was good. And it was 14-3 uh, 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 Ravens at halftime. In the 3rd, the, uh, the Ravens got to... Uh, Fourth and eight at the New Orleans 14. Tucker's 32-yard uh, field goal was good. And it was 17-6 uh, uh, Ravens. Then the uh, Saints got to uh, fourth and 13 at the Baltimore 19. Lutz's 37-yard field goal was good. And it was 17-6. Uh, uh, Baltimore Ravens lead. Then the Ravens have the point. They're going three and out. Uh, three plays, six yards. And then in the fourth, uh, there's the Ravens have the point. They're going three plays, and six yards. Ex and no yards, excuse me. Now, fourth quarter, Saints have the point. They're going three and out. Three plays, minus six yards. Then the uh, Ravens uh, <coughs> got to fourth and 14 at the New Orleans 23. Tucker's 41. Your field goal was good, and it was. Uh, it was uh, twenty to six Ravens. Then the uh, Saints had an interception. It was uh, Andy Dalton's pass short middle intended to uh, Smith, intercepted by uh, Justin Houston at the uh, New Orleans twenty-two. Uh, Justin Houston uh, to the New Orleans seventeen for the five-yard gain, and then. And then the uh, Ravens scored their third touchdown of the game. Je uh, Kenyon Drake right guard for the three-yard touchdown. Justin Tucker's extra point is good, and it was 27-6 uh, to uh, Ravens lead. Then the Ravens, uh, I mean the Saints, scored their uh, only touchdown of the game. And it was uh, second and ten. Andy Dalton at the Baltimore uh, 41. Andy Dalton's pass short uh, to uh, I think it was uh, James Johnson for the 41-yard touchdown. 
And it was uh, 27 to 13. And the Ravens have the point after going three and out. Three and out, eight plays, 26 yards. And then uh, uh, Washington right guard to the New Orleans, 16 for the five yard uh, uh, game. But nonetheless, the Ravens get the win. They go to six and three and remain on top of the AFC North in first place by the final score of 27 to 13. Uh, Chris Olive did very well uh, tonight with leading the, with the, with, on the Saints offense that was shut down by Baltimore, but I got to give the game boss to the Ravens. Lamar Jackson. Uh, 12-22 carries in the 10, 133 yards, 133 yards, one touchdown. Kenyon Drake. Uh, 24 attempts, 93 yards, two touchdowns. And Isaiah Likely, one reception, one touchdown, uh, 24 yards. So the Saints will have to regroup for their next opponent. And uh, <clears throat> uh, we'll, and now with Thursday Night Football, will kick off Week 10. And it will be the Atlanta Falcons with the Carolina Panthers to kick it off. And uh, the Browns will play Miami this Sunday at, at 1.00. And that will be at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami. Saints will have to regroup because they'll be playing Pittsburgh at 1 this Sunday. Uh, Baltimore is on a bye. Uh, uh, Sunday night game will be the Los Angeles Chargers at the San Francisco 49ers. And next Monday night will be the Washington Commanders at Philadelphia playing the Eagles. The unbeaten Eagles. So, uh... This was one of those games where the road team just uh, uh, had control in the, uh, of the game from the get-go, and and they just were dominant, especially Justin Houston and Lamar Jackson and Isaiah Lucky. They were very dominant, and the Ravens' offense was very dominant in this game tonight. Uh, well, that's just about going to wrap it up for the Scott Sports 101 Monday Night Football uh, week 9 post-game show. I'll be back with the uh, uh, Thursday Night Football pre-game show on Thursday before the uh, Falcons-Panthers game. And uh, uh, But until then, always remember, be a team player each and every day in every way possible. So long, everybody. 3-2-1. I'm done.